let us pray. Lord our God, who in governing your people make use of the ministry of priests, grant the persevering obedience to your will to these deacons of your church, whom you graciously choose this day for the office of the priesthood, so that by their ministry and life they may gain glory for you in Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Dear Brandon, Nicholas, David, and Quinn, it seems like it was just yesterday when we were all gathered here. When I was calling you by name at the time of the Beaconate Ordination, we're here again this day. And a welcome to you and your families and friends especially. We are truly, from all over the world, the family of God. As a priest of Jesus Christ, your ministry needs to be constantly supported by the daily dialogue in many ways with you and the Lord and then with his people. It means as well of listening in your heart and in your lives to that still small voice. So remember, when you gather others into the people of God through baptism, and when you forgive sins in the name of Christ and the church in the sacrament of penance, comfort the sick with holy oil and celebrate the sacred rites. When you offer prayers of praise and thanks to God throughout the hours of the day, not only for the people of God, but for the world, remember that you are taken from among men and appointed on their behalf for those things that pertain to God. Therefore, carry out the ministry of Christ the priest with constant joy and genuine love attending not to your own concerns, but to those of Jesus Christ. Finally, my friends and brothers, exercising for your part the office of Christ, head and shepherd, while united with the bishop and subject to him, strive to bring the faithful together into one family, so that you may lead them to God the Father, to Christ in the Holy Spirit. Keep always before your eyes the example of the Good Shepherd. Escuchar su voz, listen for his voice, who came not to be served, but to serve, and who came to seek out and to save what was lost. And now we beseech you, Lord, in our weakness, to grant us these helpers that we need to exercise the priesthood that comes from the apostles. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, to these your servants the dignity of the priesthood. Renew deep within them the spirit of holiness, May they henceforth possess this office which comes from you, O God, and is next in rank to the office of bishop. And by the example of their manner of life, may they instill right conduct. May they be worthy co-workers with our order so that by their preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts to reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, may they be faithful stewards of your mysteries, that your people may be renewed in the waters of rebirth and nourished from your altar, so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May they be joined with us, Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to their care and for all the world. And so may the full number of the nations gathered together in Christ be transformed into your one people and made perfect in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.